Grab your hammers, it's time for another quick tip. Ruin your gear. For example, you can put a bracer on a brick and bash it with a hammer. It makes the leather look used and like you have been in fights. Been in fights. Now I like this quick tip not only because you're allowed to use destructive force, but because a lot of costumes a lot of times tend to look really new. Now what do I mean by that? Well, when you make a new costume, it's new. It doesn't look like it's been worn or used in anything. And that's actually why I really like this quick tip. Just take your bracer. I think this is a bracer, right? I always forget the name. I call it an arm guard, but yeah. And just bash it or yeah, or do like nuclear snail where he just takes his costumes, which is post-apocalyptic and drag it after his car. And he has like this huge, brutal tool. He just tears up his costumes and they look really cool. Now he has had a lot of practice doing it, but you shouldn't be afraid of doing this to your own. You don't have to go out on a limb and just destroy everything. It could be small, subtle things. Color change on a shirt, like instead of having a clean, pure white shirt, then give it a tea bath so it becomes slightly yellow or tinted or something, or like this, bash your armor in. Heck, this hat here is pretty worn down, but that's also because some people have actually slept on it and just made it quite flat. I have this thing here, which is a jacket I use for Tobias Kettle. And, well, first of all, I haven't washed it, so it stinks a little, but he's supposed to smell a little and um, keeps people on the toe, especially me. I also have it covered in dust several times. I've used bleach on it, and uh, it's only starting to show now on some of the, what's it called, the sleeves. And I also torn up some of the sleeves and burned some parts off and even gotten so far to sew holes back together in it. Now the same thing with a lot of my other costumes. Every time something breaks, I repair it proudly because I think every little scar on your costume makes it a lot more unique. Well, you can see that it's been used and it is being used, especially the pants. Damn, they tend to split right between the legs. Now, do you prefer to have a completely new costume when you start LARPing, so it kind of gets worn down with the character? Or do you prefer to artificially wear down your costume with hammer, nails, bleach, knives, fire, and stuff like that? Now, this is an especially big discussion in our household because my fiance wants to kind of have the finished costume, costume, whereas I want to tear it down. And she's making a new costume for me, sewing. I can't. I'm not allowed close to any of that because I just want to tear some of the corners of it, like the sleeves, like, oh, it needs to look like it's been used and stuff like that. No way. No way I'm allowed close to that. Anyhow, now if you have any quick tips, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Or if you already filmed a quick tip, also leave it linked down there and put a little headline, a little text in there so we can see what it's all about and then we'll go check it out. We have a bunch of quick tips at the moment and we do love to get them. It helps us spread the word from you guys out to the rest of all the LARPers out there and spread the advices all across the globe to all LARPers all around, which is kind of a nice thing once you think about it. Anyway, I need to go out and wear some more costumes down. See you guys later. Bye.